Hey, hey guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about how to partition your external hard drive or any hard drive for that matter and um, there's a couple of ways of doing this so there's one where you can do it from inside your Windows machine so to do that just click on the start menu right click on computer say manage Then do a disk management. Now as you can see this is my 500 gig hard drive and it's unallocated so it's not formatted and we haven't put any partitions in it. And if I right click inside this you'll see it gets all these little lines in it. I can put in new simple volume. I can click next and in here I can choose what size I want it so if I want it uh, 100 gigs, I can put in 100,000 and then I can just say next and then I can assign a letter to it which is fine, I can say next and in here then, the problem is inside is you can only do it either XFAT or NTFS as it's default Windows but if you wanted to use part of this external hard drive as FAT32 or XT3 or XT4 for We'll say installing Linux or Ubuntu or one of those and um, this won't allow you so you could allocate X amount of it in here so that's the way to do it with within Windows so I'm just going to cancel that close this down and then you can open up EasyOS um, that's this EasyOS Partition Master once you open up your Easy OS Partition Master Free. I'll leave a link in the description for this. Um, you'll be met with this screen here, and this is all of our internal hard drives or recoveries and our HP tools from my computer. But down here is the unallocated, so I want to left click on that to make sure it's highlighted. And down here it's unallocated, it's 500 gigabyte. So what I want to do is I want to right click on that, click Create Partition. And then I'm going to be using this for a win backup. And it's asking me do I want it logical or primary. Now on a complete, just move this down out of the way or up out here. In a complete hard drive you're only allowed to have um, four primary partitions. Um, you can have a lot more logical, as many as you like. But the primary ones are to allow you to boot operating systems like Windows or Linux or Ubuntu. So um, for the purpose of this I'm just going to leave it as uh, logical. I'm going to go NTFS. I'm going to leave this at W. And if you have a solid state drive just click on this and it will optimize it for that. If you've just standard hard drive. Um, just leave as is, the cluster size is fine uh, obviously if you wanted to change this you can format it to either ext2, ext3 it doesn't have an option for ext4 but from what I read a lot of the new operating systems like uh, Linux and you're going to use ext4 um, so if you're going to be doing that you're better off leaving it unallocated and once you're doing the install it'll format your hard drive for you anyway so um, best to leave it but other than that just choose either NTFS or your FAT32 NTFS I'm going to be saving it for Windows and just set aside so I'm going to set aside around 300 of this and I'm going to say OK and then it comes over here to pending operations. It hasn't done it yet, so come up here and click apply. It says you want to you say yes. Uh, shouldn't take too long, but uh, and that's it. Just say okay. And then you can do the same thing with this as well if you like. You can right click in there and you can create a partition. Or you can 
right click in here and you can delete the partition if you like um, so that's it guys I uh, hope you liked the video if you do hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one cheers good luck